When it comes to masking in fireworks, you get the best of both worlds. Fireworks uses both bitmaps and vectors, and that means that you can actually use bitmap masks and vector masks. And in this exercise, we're going to take a look at bitmap masks. So to get yourself started, open up bitmap mask 01.jpg in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see this image of this guy. I think he's looking at his telephone. And a blue background. And what we want to do is get this blue background out of here. Now, one of the things you can do, of course, is just select the background and press delete. But let's uh, mask it out instead. And the process is very straightforward. You make your selection. So we'll get the magic wand tool. Just make our selection. And you can see there's our guy. And if we want to uh, mask him out, come to your layers panel. With the layer selected, right here is a little button for masking, add mask. It's almost like quick mask in Photoshop. If you click it, he's gone. And you'll notice that there is a bitmap, a link, and then there's the original image. Okay, let's get rid of the mask. To get rid of that, what you do is you just click the link to get rid of it, select the uh, mask, and press the trash can. It's going to ask you to apply the mask, and your answer is no, discard. Now let's try the other way. Click on the background to select the guy or the select the background. This time we're going to go to select inverse. And what we're going to do is mask this guy and get rid of the background. So again, you select the bitmap layer or select the layer that you're on. Click the add mask button and it's gone. So there's a quick way of doing it using selections. And as you saw, you can Get rid of a mask simply by clicking the link here and getting rid of the mask as long as it's selected. And to apply a mask, you just make the selection and click the Add Mask button in the Layers panel. 